TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. This is a warning screen. There will be Class B drugs in this episode. Legal where I am. Uh, don't forget, we do got Patreon. We post five days a week on there. We got merch as well. And, you know, twitch.com. Username's at the bottom of the screen. Check me out. You hear me? Talk. This is the real story. Inside London's Illegal 420. I'm here for it. Talk to me, though. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. Can you tell me the time, mate? What's the time? The time was 4.20. 4.20 living every day. See, I smoke that shit wherever I'm at. All my people roll deep, deep down low. Man, a man heavy. Every other one's like ferry. What do you think about weed? Uh, I like it in moderation. Oh, lovely. That was lovely, mate. Buddy High has entered the building. We are evidence gatherers for the Met. At the moment, what am I going to fill the load of people sitting there? Do you think people can smoke too much? Yeah, definitely. It's a plant. It's like cucumbers and tomatoes. I like to think of it as the start, the start of a protest, at least in the UK. Bro made a valid point. It is a plant. It's like cucumbers and tomatoes. 420 and high. Hey, young America. We need to talk about something called grass. Not that grass. I'm talking about marijuana. It's stimulating. Mind expanding, safer to use than alcohol, and as much a part of growing up as smoking corn silk behind the back fence. We'll keep it a bean with you. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I, it. I just don't like how I feel to me. We are here in Hyde Park in London. It is the 20th of April, 2024. We are here for 420, uh, which is a day when lots of weed smokers gather, uh, specifically in this park in London. Uh, we're here to talk to them and we want to talk to some of the police who are here today as well Just to find out what's the real story today 420 is when everybody who loves to smoke weed gets together and they just smoke it But not just it's not just for the weed obviously. It's a very communal thing if you look around Yes, it is just for the world. Yes, it is And there's loads of people happy. You don't see that every day, do you? Peace, love and have a great day everybody Seems to be a bit of a commotion over here A crowd had gathered to watch a fight It seems to be an organized Friendly, well, <laughs> they was boxing at the, at the 420 event. Friendly as a fight can be, I guess. Fight. <laughs> as Ed Roll want to go to sleep so bad. Entertaining as watching two people punch each other in the face is. We wanted to talk to more people before it hit 4:20 p.m. I've been attending since the 70s. In the 70s, it was called Teddy Bear's Picnic because I believe cannabis should be legalized in the UK. As an ex-cancer sufferer, I was put on pain metamorphine fentanyl for years. I managed to come off it all and I managed my pain with weed. When people get stoned, they get the munchies. When people get drunk, they get violent. See the difference. What are you planning to do in... It's a pretty vague observation, but okay. In seven minutes. Get stoned, blow a whistle, and celebrate. Are you, sure, are you sure, ma'am, that you want to go do that? I go to bang and shit. <laughs> I'm being serious. 420. It's obviously on the fourth of the 20, and we're all out here smoking. <laughs> what? 420. 420 is like a gathering of all the smokers and even anyone that just likes to get litty. I mean, no, in I mean, my head, it is legal. 
literally, I smoke that shit wherever I'm at. At home, at, at work, anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this bro is no longer working at his job since this video. They random drug tested him, he's out of there. Have you ever had any problems with the police or anything regarding the law? I mean, I've had a couple problems with the police, but I just offer them a joint and they're happy. Sensational cat. This cannabis is illegal. Mm -hmm. It still is. But that's it, unfortunately. And we can't say A few moments later. Has anyone, do you know, like been arrested for cannabis here today? Or no. Is there a reason for that? It's a number situation. Obviously, there's not a lot of police compared to the number of people. Uh, we are taking a proactive response to it all. We can't arrest everyone. This is look like Potter Paper. This is Otter Aper. <laughs> Otter Aper. Officer Otter Aper. That's tough. Because there is far too many people for us to arrest. Obviously, it is illegal. It is an event that we don't support. But at the end of the day, we can't arrest everyone and do a sweep through because we haven't got resources and it's not proportionate to it. So we're kind of taking a proactive response, engaging with people, explaining to them that it is illegal. There is 35s in order for dispersal, but currently there's no need for it all to go in. Uh, everyone's being peaceful. Well, what is a 35 for dispersal? You have to leave the area. Uh, you can't come back for 24 hours, pretty much. So that's currently in effect? Uh, yeah, but it has to be uh, given, if that makes sense. Okay. So you being here now, you're not breaching it. But if I then said to you, I am dispersing you, you would then be breaching it. Okay, and then I could be arrested for that. Got an arrest, uh, you are told to leave. If you don't leave during this point of time, you then do breach policies and then you can be an arrest. Could be an arrest. You know, I have seen thousands of people here today. I mean, there are people as far as the eye can see. A lot of people in groups, having a good time, I assume, with their friends, their family maybe. We even saw a few children in the crowd. That's insane. My name is Marijuana. It sounds like Marijuana. We, I had no problem with marijuana, but like, nah, not around, nah. <laughs> we are here because it's 420, so it's a celebration. It's also a day of activism. We should protest for our rights, and cannabis is saving people's lives. There's a medical industry. It needs to open up better so everybody else can get access to it. Look how many people are here. They all use cannabis. Why are they not having it? Why can't they access it? They're going to the black market. We need better products. With regulation, the, the bar goes higher. So, free to weed. Don't prosecute people. Don't put people in prison for weed anymore. Release the people that are already in prison. It's a plant. It's like cucumbers and tomatoes. Come on, inspirational. We love cannabis. What do you see when you look around you today? I think bro oversimplified it. I see human beings. Every shape, every color, every size, every age. There really were a wide variety of people. What does 420 mean to you? What does it mean to me? Fuck all. Another day, lumber. Do you know what I mean? It means nothing. You know, I smoke weed every day. I don't need one day to do it. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you smoke weed? I do smoke weed, yeah. What do you think of 420? I think it's a good sociable event and I appreciate people coming together. Who is this guy? Them, rather than violence. You know what I mean? Yo, feel the vibes, that's why. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Right, we'll give you a moment, we'll give you a moment, we'll give you a moment, we'll give you a moment. <laughs> the problem is, sir, you too old. You need to go home. No. Whoa! Could you explain to me what uh, is on your head? Oh, it's a panda head, is it? Yeah. Because it's cold. That's why. That's the way that I roll. All my people roll deep, deep down low. Man, I'm man heavy. Every other one's like ferry. No, but no, I write poetry. Listen, I hate human beings, but I love human nature. Can I smoke on camera? <laughs> what are you seeing? Just here. Oh, that's Buddy. Oh, this is Buddy High. I'm sorry, but Buddy High has entered the building. Oh, that's, everybody is high here. So let me let me take a step back and just remember that <laughs> because I'm looking at that. What it was? Hold on. This how you know when you trash at rapping. Listen, listen carefully. Oh, man, that man heavy. Every other one's that ferry. No, nah, but no, nah, I write poetry. Listen, I hate. No, nah, but I write poetry. I don't really be spitting, but I write poetry. So what you doing out here? You just high? What? Can I smoke on camera? <laughs> what are you seeing? Just seeing. Oh, that's Buddy. Oh, this is Buddy High. I'm sorry, but Buddy High has entered the building. Oh, hail Buddy High. 
Everybody say hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. They don't want it. They don't really want it because I really want it. If they don't know it, just let me know. <laughs> what are the dogs called? Uh, this is Smokey. This is Barney. <laughs> this is Snoop. <laughs> oh, my God. Why are you here today, Smokey? Smoke up. Do you think people can smoke too much? Yeah, yes. definitely. Everything can be um, done too much, you know. It's all good in moderation. That's it. That's not true, ma'am. That's not true. You can only get so high. Your body won't allow you to get... Once you're here, you can get no higher than here. Once you're at your ceiling of highness. There is no infinite high. <laughs> so you can get as high as your body can handle. And you can stay that high. You know what I'm saying? You can't really overdo it. You can only... If you're a rookie, you can you know what I'm saying? But when you're a professional, unlike myself, any little puff can send you over the edge. You get what I'm saying? Perfect. Thank you, man. Thank well, you. Have a lovely day. Yeah. yeah. You're very ginger. Enjoy your life. Thank you. You can overdose. All right. Because now, now we're taking a piss. That's what y'all say? Hey Siri, when was the last time somebody overdosed on weed? The leaf, not an edible? You might not overdose on cannabis, but you can still do it. I mean, you can still overdo it. Somebody just told me a smooth lie in the chat. That's crazy. We spotted a group of people playing volleyball, and I knew what I had to do. What do you think about weed? Oh. Uh, I like it in moderation. Oh, lovely. That was lovely, mate. Yeah. You also were a semi-pro. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 My knee, I had a knee injury. Oh, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Um, I, I think it's good in certain amounts, but for most of the time, it's, it's, it's not good for people, especially young people. Yeah. You think it can be an overconsumption or a reliance yeah. to ignore just general task. It's like phones, isn't it? It's the same as scrolling mindlessly. Yeah. It's fun. But yeah, I like yeah. it. So but you like it. I quickly showed them how it was done. Okay, this is Nate, the cameraman. Oh, absolutely beautiful touch points scored. That don't count. He carried. He What they call that in volleyball? You lifting, you lift it. Nate, the cameraman. Look. Oh, absolutely. It's a foul. Beautiful touch, points scored. And retired as the undisputed champion of 420 volleyball. We got back amongst the crowd just as the day reached its peak. Can you tell me the time, mate? What's the time? The time was 420. 420 living every day. 2024, more love, our life, and energy. Big up every time. KJ Solo, you're done now. Jeez. <laughs> Why are you guys here? Just want some weed, get high, have a little time, have a vibe. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about me? I'm here. I'm a, I'm a journalist. I'm here to talk to people about why they're down here today. Oh, sick. How Andrew, can I find your stuff, man? I get the real story on YouTube, bro. I get the real story, I'd yeah. The real story. Don't forget to sub up, leave a like. You know what I'm saying? Story. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get the real story. Come on, get, get out here. <laughs> Do you like, subscribe, subscribe, everything. We post, we share. It's 420, get lit, get vibes. You ready? Done though. 420 every day though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're about to buy the big spliff, you know what I mean? You're about to, uh, what, sorry? Oh. About to <laughs> man one of these zoobies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, free the weed, free the weed. Do you think that I should smoke weed? Definitely, Why not? definitely. Why not? Why not? You want to smoke something? I think if I was high watching this, I would get a different vibe. Me? Uh, no, I'm, I'm right. right now it's like being around I'm gonna turn it into drunk like being around drunk people when you sober it just don't hit the same I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta keep the kid out of your free time, give it a shot it's, it's, it's good, I mean yes. not it's good but like you know you, you'll get to unlock your like creative side I mean and see what happens I mean girl shut up you're waffling on what are you even talking about I enjoy it. How would you describe? You were talking so much nonsense, your face is blurred. <laughs> like, nobody, like, shh.
the feeling of being high? Um, she don't even know. Okay, so obviously it depends, like what kind of mood you're in. But for me, I feel like it makes me get more confident and be more a bit more creative. Like it helps me with my musical side. Helps me like talk. Oh my god, I guarantee you your music sounds better on mute. If you rapping, you maybe if you sing it, you got it, but to people. I just don't know. I like the feeling of just being wavy. Love that. <laughs> Come on. Do you make music? Yeah, help him produce. He's a producer. I'm a producer, engineer and artist. This is my co-producer in the making. Is her face supposed to be blurred? It's a singer and artist herself. Come like 420. Ain't no man is every day ready. 420, when they get waved, cause you know, man, I don't play games. Yeah. We don't really don't play games, cause you know, where we broke propane. When the days were the same, positivity, energy, and synergy, that's the way. Trash. Trash. On a scale of one to ten, one being stop rapping, ten being the best thing I ever heard, five being average, I give that a one. Go ahead, cut it out, brother. Period. Period. Have a good day, have a good have day. Have a good day, man. That's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, like I said, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> Happy 420. Happy 420. Live it up to this. We took a scenic walk out of the crowd to get down to the lake and try and talk. They got squirrels in the UK? To people who weren't there for 420. Uh, we've been here trying to speak to some people who aren't here for 420 to try and get their opinions, but. Believe it or not, there's actually not that many people who aren't here for 420. Um, and of those who are, strangely enough, they don't want to talk to a random man with a microphone in a park, which does make sense. We took a moment to take in the community that we'd entered. That's Before cool. finding one of our most interesting interviews of the day. What does 420 mean to you? I mean, I, I feel like there's a <laughs> there's an answer that, like, I guess it's a bit boring, but there's also, it's basically, you know. Does he have on a, a, what is this? What is that? He got on a cape? Okay, okay. I think the boring answer is, well, it's like a meme. It's a social event. It's a community thing. Um, but also, that's true. At the same time, it's also, I feel like it's important to, for it to be a protest of, of sorts. It, it should be a little more organized than this if it was a protest, but... I like to think of it as the start the start of a protest, at least in the UK. So yeah, it's both things, I guess. And what are you protesting? Um, the illeg illegality of weed, I guess. Yeah, if that's if that's the correct adjective. Yeah. So you think that weed should be legal? Well, yeah, for sure. I, I think that's um, morally the right position to hold. Why? Because for the very logistical reason that, like, if you don't, if it if it's illegal, then people use it much more dangerously so you can it, it does serve that kind of state purpose but it's also you know it, it, it's if weed was illegal in the UK police officers literally wouldn't have anything to do in certain towns they literally would be there would be no police force needed Again, is this boo boo back here that they escaped you know what Never mind. good for recreational use as well I feel like there's um, maybe a, a two, well, maybe three types of people, okay? There's some people who think that um, marijuana is an illegal drug and doing it is abhorrent and morally wrong in some way in any circumstance. Right. There's some people who seem to think that um, marijuana is some kind of... I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Weed is legal and it did a lot. It made a lot of money for the state. I mean, for the for the county or whatever, whoever it made money for, tax wise, um, I had no problem with it. I just don't do it. Mm. Out of nature's nectar, and that it's not possible to have an overconsumption of it. And then there seem to be some people who take this kind of like middle ground approach. And I wanted to see what your thought was okay, on that. Yeah, no, I see what you mean. I feel like I've come across both of those positions before, and I see what you mean. I would say I'm kind of in the middle there because I don't think anything is all that like God's own nectar or whatever. Like, no, nothing is like that. At the same time, it's not the evil, 
like devil's lettuce that people make it out to be mostly on the well center left and mostly right, uh, sorry center right it's mostly not right. it um, shouldn't even be class b in, in the uk because think about what class a is in the uk you're telling me class b is one level under that you're telling me that that is one level under that stuff come on now. Be, be for real <laughs> Be for real. Yeah, somewhere in the middle, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, this is the kind of shit that my friends and I would watch while high, but then um, we don't really smoke weed, so, you know. There's a lot um, of um, how to roll a joint there, if you know. There's a lot of, oh, how to, yeah, how to blow smoke rings, how to roll a joint, just for educational purposes. Yeah, yeah, You're looking yeah, up how yeah, to roll yeah, a joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay. Look, man. Rule number one is, don't talk to the police. They're pigs. Don't talk to the police. Okay, so I have no idea what the police are going to say. Can I ask you um, how your day's been today? A um, bit dull. A bit dull? Up till now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this, the, this is the interesting part now. Uh, nice walk through the park. Nice walk through the park with me. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Phil. Phil. Lovely walk through the park with Phil. So, uh, you've got the camera. Is that, what's your job today then? So, we are, well, I am, we, evidence gatherers for the Met together don't believe it evidence <laughs> that's it. evidence of what wait what imagine going to 420 what what park is this whatever park this is and bro is out here taking evidence of you and two days later you get arrested what well any disorder or anything like that if it should happen there, oh okay just like I'm disorder okay. a load of people sitting there. what evidential need is there Exactly. None. So, nothing at the moment. What do you think about uh, today, about 4.20? I'm not going to give my opinion on that, because I'm in uniform. You catch me on an off day, I might give you my opinion, but not in uniform. Which means he thinks weed should be legal. Got three chewings and to keep going, and an opinion isn't worth it when you're in uniform. No, absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, am I making you uncomfortable? Because I will, no, I'll leave. No, no, I don't no, want to be... I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I really couldn't care less. I, yeah. What, 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 yeah. What's it, live, live streaming. What's, what's, yeah, 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 yeah. What are you going to do? I mean, you've got a balance. You either have a police officer and don't take this the wrong way. You go off and do one. Yeah. Or you've got somebody who's willing to talk to you. It's no problem to me. It yeah. doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. I bet I've spoken to an auditor before. It doesn't. I'm like, you, you're human, I'm human. If you want to ask me a difficult question, I'll answer it or I won't answer it. That's that's the bottom line. It's like a cool you know, cut. As well as I do in uniform, I've got to remain impartial. Yes, I have an opinion. Of course, I've got an opinion. But I'm not going to give you that opinion whilst I'm in uniform. Because, as I said, I'll get... Yeah, but when you got an opinion, you, bro is actually admitting that all cops have an opinion on every subject, but they have to remain impartial in uniform. But you don't think that opinion shines through in certain scenarios? I do. It dragged into an office somewhere. It's just not worth it. And with that, we decided to call it a day. We've just made our way out of Hyde Park. It's well gone 4 20 p.m. now. It's past six. I appreciate what you did for me, sir. You you let me you gave me insight on what goes down in London and Hyde Park on 420. I appreciate you. Thank you. But that's it. I'm done. Tell leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.